Hey everybody, in this series, which is actually going to finish, uh, I'm going to be do using a new tool known as the election shuffler. So basically, what you can do is change, like, let's say, you can find like how much a candidate will speak by in the actual election. Change it just a tiny bit. So yeah. Okay, so let's start. So let's. So we're gonna turn. We're gonna find a pathway to turn Alabama blue. So let's start. So first, we're gonna need to get GOP turnout super low. Actually, no turnout has to be pretty high. And the Democrats just really need to amp up their numbers in Jefferson County quite a bit. Uh, so yeah, amping up and from um, they go need to increase turnout quite a bit. And you know, I need to restart. I'm making okay. Let's go to Alabama. Oops, not Florida. Florida's weird, and we'll come back to it later. Okay, Alabama. So it was a thirteen point three percent margin. Let's increase turnout to 8%, now maybe a bit less, maybe 5%, and take it from, and maybe take it up to a 19 point margin. So the GOP is already losing. Take this county. GOP only won the county by 476 votes. Okay, now we find the narrowest county, Washington County, Mobile County. There's a county called Mobile County, it's pretty Republican, but we'll come back to that. So yeah, uh, the county right here, Mindo County, will turn out, will turn out pretty better. Better make it a 10 point margin. And we're going to take these, Macon County increased turnout by 9%. So yeah, the GLP, so we have them. And then we enough for a bit to pop for more populated areas. I mean, this is a pretty populated county, but these democratic areas aren't that populated. So that's why I'm gonna need to amp up in my quite a bit. Let's turn Russell County into nine point margin with a turnout increase of nine percent. The GOPs are, the GOPs only lost 1% of their entire support. But in such county, you don't have a good rule. So we're going to have a decent margin in Republican. Oh, two. Well, does that affect the results? Then turn county, we can turn it into 48.5 county. If you maybe can turn it a bit higher. We already did Marengo. We can't do a table. It's a 19 county. Change it to a 23 with turnout at 8% higher. Uh, Dallas County, let's look at a 40 point margin with turnout at 7%. Wilcox County will turn into a 43 point margin with 6%. Actually, maybe. Maybe this could be a pretty high turnout area with 11% turnout. I mean, you could turn mobile county into like, which. I, think you, uh, I don't think Republicans will turn out to vote that much, so probably won't be. As larger margin. So, yeah, I think we're almost done with Democratic areas. Maybe make a few adjustments. Okay, so basically, okay. I think we have adjusted every single Democratic county. It's always the same county. 2018 was an exception. What county? Okay, so now for the GOP counties. So 
we're gonna have to we're gonna have to get rid of the margarine we had down to only eight. I think I think we will turn out won't be a tie. So the Germany aren't losing that many voters. So yeah, right now the margin is kind of decreasing. So right now we need to find populated Republican areas. We will bring this county down a bit. And it's turning out quite a bit down. This is in Baldwin County. Alabama counties by population, right? So there's Jefferson County, uh, Madison County. It's somewhere over here. Okay, so say for there, reduce it down to like a. What was the margin in this county? Either way, let's just reduce it quite a bit. Let's turn out at negative 13%. Uh, turn out at negative, let's say 23. Turn it down to like a. 58 point margin. You know, we've adjusted almost every county. Why don't I turn out a bit higher? Let's see, 20% lower turnout. And let's say it's a 13 point margin. You know, I'm just, I don't, I actually don't know very much about Alabama politics. Mostly because I'm not from Alabama. But, you know what, guys, I just really feel like listening to me. Let's do. Let's do states, let's do turn states. Of course, you guys won't be able to hear it. Oh my. So basically, turnout needs to be super down, and the margin also has to be super down. Let's increase the margin in Democratic counties. We lost it to Texas, it's going to be super weird in Texas. Turn out down quite a bit. Right there, Kentucky, maybe take a trip to Jackson, Mississippi. Jefferson County increased turnout by quite a bit. And increased the margin quite a bit. Here's the thing, Democrats really need to increase the, um, their margin in counties. They can win their county, they can win just these counties, but win the state, assuming that they do better than like other counties. You're in Houston County down, Actually, let's see if there are any flips. If there are any flips, we're going to need to flip them back, obviously. Okay, let's see if there are any flips. There's no flips. The counties are all the same. Okay, so turn Houston County down. And turn the Republican margin pretty down. So now the GOP has a lead of less than 20%. See, 23% less turnout. 
Thank you, Mr. Pretty Lobship. Okay, so yeah, basically, we're getting closer to, to winning Alabama or Democrat. It might take a while though, so. Okay, so yeah. You know, guys, I would stop. Um, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna pause the recording and then do the counties and then show you. Because you know, I'll just keep it up. You can actually flip this county. It was an eight point county. Maybe rulerness you know, isn't as high as it could be. You could see a Democrat split Madison County. And now the family of the GOP is increasing. Do you think the will have to be reduced? Turn down, turn out down like 25%. Okay, so basically, this is a new county map. Madison County flipped. Yeah, basically, um, we're almost done. We need to reduce margins pretty drastically in other pretty Republican counties. The yeah, 30, when they're 37 point margin in Alamore County, the Spruceer County, a pretty, um, I guess I would say kind of populated area, is a few point margin, I guess maybe an eight point margin. So I still need to find a way to give the GOP a victory, maybe reduce turnout quite a bit more. And maybe and maybe lower the margin quite a bit more. Okay, so we almost have Alabama lowered to fifteen percent. We still have to see if we. Oh yeah, Mobile County. We haven't been Mobile County yet. This is actually a pretty um populated area. We're gonna have to turn turnout down by like twenty six percent. Make it maybe what I mean, maybe like a six point nine four percent margin. So yeah, basically, all the blue things are areas we've shifted. I don't think I shifted this county. More double crap. Oh, and we can turn up by quite a bit. Okay, now, there's still quite a few counties we still haven't deal, dealt with yet. Let's start with Henry County. This margin. Okay, so now we still have quite a few counties where we haven't made a shift yet. How about Coleman County? Turn it down to like a what? 66 point margin? Yeah. So, yeah, we're almost getting Alabama into the single digits, and then we can potentially flip it. Tusa, let's take it R, and then turn turnout quite a bit down. Turn turnout quite a bit down. Our cards right, they can potentially flip this county. Okay, I although I don't expect to flip it by quite a lot. Turn turn out going quite a bit. You know what? Uh, I'm gonna um. Pause the recording and then do it. Now, I finished the map.
I basically increased the turnout, reduced turnout significantly in three Republican areas, and increased significantly in Democratic areas. Thank you very much. Bye bye.